that's football. That's ultimately what football was all about. It's the grind through a game, and then the best team will prevail. I like that about uh, Ohio State traveling Happy Valley, Penn State. Line is minus three and a half. Ohio State. The question in this game is Drew Aller going to play? I would assume he's going to play and dress. Um, had a knee injury uh, last game. They took him out. He didn't come back. Um, uh, wasn't was was it a freshman that played last game? Is he a freshman? I forget. Um, the young fella. Yeah, it's like, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Let me get him up. Get him up. It's like Bo, Bo something, Bo, Prepper Blue, Prepper Play. No, that's, I thought it was, um, yeah, 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 I mean, uh, uh, Prabula. Um, yeah, Prabula. Um, Prabula. Oh, oh, Prabula. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he, he, I didn't really watch him too much uh, against, you know, that Wisconsin defense. I mean, I he did well, but, I mean, I think they're going to have Aller go, at least try to go. Um, here, um, and you know, this is gonna be a defensive uh, a battle, but I think the key here is every is, is the whole is the big problem with Penn State that everybody always says, Franklin, right? What is he one in nine against Ohio State? Yeah, it's, it's rough, I guess. It's rough, top, and, top yeah. And I mean, Ohio State, uh, I don't think they have been as uh, offensively as explosive as people would think they would be, um, you know, but. Um, and, you know, they're going through their slate right now, uh, you know, play Iowa at, or, at, at Oregon, um, home for Nebraska and now at um, Penn State. So this is the meat in the tough part of their schedule. And obviously they got Michigan at the end. But um, honestly, bro, even if Drew was healthy and everything we know about this rivalry and everything we know about Franklin versus these teams, Ohio State and the Michigan, how do you not take Ohio State here? Like, like what, what tells me about Penn State, right, that they can hang? They start off slow, right, and then what they do, they they kind of they kind of peel away afterwards, right, as the game goes on. But they're going to have to be able to match Ohio State if Ohio State sco- scores. And offensively, I don't think they can do that. I like the Buckeyes here with the points. I mean, not with the points, on, on the line. And, 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 and they screw Penn State. It's a 12 o'clock game. This ain't even the whiteout game. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I don't think that matters whether it's a whiteout or not. You don't think that? I think, I mean, it's, Ohio, it's, anyway it's, it's, happy it's, it's Penn State happy yeah, Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and right. they're already going to, you know, most likely it'll probably be like the stripe, the blue and white stripe game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there will be some type of uh, impact as far as the crowd is 100,000 plus hammering down. I'm going to be honest with you. You on Penn State? I'm off the game. Uh, I was about to say, we are? Yeah, but I am but I am off the game only because of Drew Aller's availability. Mm-hmm. Um, I think his leg injury is going to be more serious than what we think. And I think, I don't know if it's important for Penn State to necessarily have to force him to play in this game because of now the way the format is. And they have they are 7-0 in the big, you know, they're in the Big Ten, big conference. So I don't know if they necessarily have to. You press. talking about them laying down like they they no, like no, it? No, 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 no. I don't think they have to press putting Aller in here if he's not healthy. That's why I'm not saying they're gonna lay down. Okay. But the young guy came in and did a good job. I think he only missed two throws. He scored a touchdown. I think it was like 98 yards, and you know, last week against Wisconsin, and Wisconsin was rolling for a minute. I I really like this Penn State team. I think they're actually being underrated. Uh, I mean, not underrated by the national media. They're ranked third in the country. Yeah, that's what um, saying, huh? but I think Ohio State is just not who we think they are normally in a normal in and out. I think the opportunity for Penn State to win this game is there. So if I was to leave, lean anything, and if Drew Aller is going to play, I'll definitely lean to plus three. I think it's going to be a close game. I think Penn State leans on their defense. So, you know, they lean on their defense for most of the majority of the game. They wear them down, they wear them down, and then boom, here comes Penn State doing what Penn State does. That's football. That's ultimately what football was all about. It's the grind through a game, and then the best team will prevail. I like that about Penn State. I think Franklin has the best team as far as full team that he has had in a long time. Uh, probably 
as close to that Rose Bowl team that they had that they lost that one big big game. Um, and I think Ohio State is, you know, still trying to figure it out a little bit. You know, that was a tough game to play in Oregon. You know, tough road game here at Penn State. Like they, their season hasn't been really easy for them at all. It's been a rough road. So they win that. They win that game. What's this line? If they win at Oregon. Yeah, because remember Oregon scored late. Oregon scored ten in the fourth. Um, I think the line stays the same because I think no, it's still oh no way. Yeah, I don't I don't think the impact of of that Oregon game impacts this line. Only really? because, no, because I think they we all thought or Ohio State Oregon is gonna to be top ten teams. I think the question is how great Penn State has been all year. They've been pretty dominant. If you look at their scores, look at their record, they've been dominating the game. It hasn't been no sleep, you know, sneak away games besides the USC game. But that's that's Penn State going to USC. That's that's yeah. that's across the map at a I think it was a noon start, right? It was an early start. Yeah, I think it was an early start. Yeah, it was like it was kind of crazy for that that situation for them to get yeah. out there and win. But I mean, like I said, I'm I'm not mad at you for taking Ohio State, especially with the quarterback situation in Penn State. Yeah, that's what edged me. The it's because the quarterback situation. But think about but think about it, though, Nate. The, the quarterback is questionable. The line is only three and a half. That's a tell tell. That's a tell sign to me. If the quarterback gonna, is out and it's only three and a half, if he's if he's out, this line jumps a point. You, I think it should be more than a point. But that's just my opinion. I mean, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a statistic. I'm not an analytic analytist or the you know Vegas guys. But I would think that it's a tremendous drop off from Drew Aller to the young fella, although he did play pretty good. But for me, stay away. Penn State at Penn, as a stay away. Penn State at home, I would lean with the plus three and a half. And if you get any news about Drew Aller playing or if he's healthy, if he's still going to be hobbled, then I wouldn't touch it. Mm. But if you're an Ohio State fan and you feel like it's a short line. Go ahead, go get it. Go get it. Go get but, it. But at the end of the day, we are. <laughs> I knew you was going to say that. 